All right, virtual kids, I'm going to do a little tutorial in Google Classroom. I know some of us have had some confusion adding colors, and it is a little confusing until you get it down. When you are using Google Draw, you have to think backwards, um, and you have to think in layers. And the steps are on the instructions for this week if you want to do the digital option. Uh, and if you want to do the other options, that's totally fine, but hopefully this will help you out. So if you look at the steps, it says step one to pick a square. Right here in your shape, you're going to find the square or rectangle, which is totally fine. Use those crosshairs, start in the corner, drag it out to fill up the entire page. And this is going to be your sky or your background color. So you can come up here to the fill bucket and pick any color you'd like your background to be. Now, to add your mountains, you're going to use the triangle shape. Back into your shape, uh, this right triangle will help to go along the sides of your paper. Uh, this regular isosceles triangle will help to go on uh, inside the edges of your paper as well, and I'll show you a couple of different things. So starting backwards, thinking of the mountains that are farthest away, those are going to be the lightest color. I'm going to select this right triangle. I'm going to start on the edge of my paper. I'm going to drag it out and draw my triangle to the bottom of the paper. And it just automatically makes it a light blue, and it also adds an outline. Now, if you want to leave the outlines, you can. I like to take them away by clicking this pencil and clicking on transparent. Uh, the great thing about Google Draw with our value scale is they already have them for you. So you can choose whatever color you'd like, and it shows the value scale. Uh, so you don't have to do a whole lot with selecting colors besides following a row. So I'm going to choose light purple. That will be the color of all of my mountains the farthest away or the uh, back layer of my mountains. So I'm going to go back into my shape. I'm going to click on the triangle. I'm going to draw another one out, and it can definitely be larger. Uh, and it copies the colors already. It doesn't have an outline. It's that nice light purple, which is great. Uh, and I can add a few layers in there. So there are lots of mountains. This one doesn't need to go all the way to the bottom because uh, it will cover up the other mountains there and kind of blend in. I'm going to change my color, take away the outline. So when I click off of it, you can see how my mountains are forming. I'll add a few more onto this layer. I'm going to draw another right triangle for the other side. I'm going to click on the box on the left side and just flip it. So I'm going to drag it across. Now I have filled up the entire background with my light purple mountain side to side. Then you just keep going, uh, adding triangles layer by layer. You're going to make them a little bit darker each time. I'm going to go into my triangles again, start on the edge. Make it a little bit shorter so we can see it. Go to a little bit darker purple color. I like to take away my outline. You don't have to. If you draw a triangle and it goes above those mountains, that's OK, because the color will make it look like it's a little bit closer. I like to go a little bit below just so we can really get the idea of mountains farther away are lighter, mountains closer are darker. And it shows our value scale, which is the element of art that we're working on this week. I skipped ahead a little bit, so you didn't need to watch me repeat steps. Uh, the very last layer that you have, if you'd like, it can just be um, a very dark color of whatever you chose, or it could also be black to kind of show a silhouette uh, at the bottom. You can make as many as you want. 
Again, the nice thing about working in Google Draw is it already has the colors for you. Uh, but I'm going to show you a couple of extra things that you can do to make this a little easier. If I click on a shape and I click Control C and then I click Control V, it's going to copy that triangle. So you don't need to go in the shapes every single time. Uh, it's easier to go into the shapes you totally can. Then we can make this a little bit bigger, stretch it out a little bit farther. Um, so if I click on my right triangle because I want that on the other side, I can click Control C, Control V. It copies that right triangle. I need to again drag the box from one side to the other so it flips it. And I have now created my mountains. I can also change where the peak of the mountain is by clicking on the shape. Say I click this one and this little yellow diamond when you get the crosshairs on it you can slide it across the top of that blue box that kind of outlines your shape to make your mountains curve a little differently so we can do a few more so they're not all perfect triangles now of course mountains are a little uh different shaped than perfect triangles but for the sake of our value scale uh, and making a digital picture, this is what we're going to work with. Remember, remember when you're done, it automatically saves it. Uh, and then just make sure that.